Go ahead. All right, so um, this is uh, Affliction Craft, a factions PvP server. Um, we were originally created back in August of 2011, um, a continuation of Faction Focus, which was the server owners, uh, me, Cryhelion, and Rextron, and Shaky Tom. Uh, we played that server for a few months, and we loved that, and we continued to continue it when it shut down. Um, we've grown a lot since that time. Um, usually we have a, like, we have a pretty small community right now, but everybody is friends, and we have a lot of competition on the server. Um, as you can see from spawn, we've been working on this for quite a while. We recently put in a new spawn, we updated all our plugins, we added some new policies, including, um, we no longer have a shop. We have player shops that the player actually gets their own plot in the trade world. And they're able to uh, buy and sell and price their own items. Um, with factions, we disabled uh, chest protection. So in enemy territory, uh, players that are trying to raid or even un-faction uh, players, they can get into your chest. So you have to be careful about that. The only true protected by admin spots that we have on the map are uh, spawn a few outer places that will be added eventually, like mob arena and the PvP arenas. We usually don't have those by spawn. Also, the trade district, which is in the trade world, and the nexus, which is basically a big portal hub where you can get to the event world, you can get to the trade world, you can get to the nether from there, or you can just go back to the overworld. Um, we also use MCMMO, which is a MMO-like plugin that allows you to train your skills for um, axes, swords, archery, taming, her uh, herbalism, everything like that. Ah! I just went through the portal and fell into lava. <laughs> Sorry about how'd that. How did you fall through the portal into lava? I might have to fix that. Oh, here, uh, here, I'll go back to the portal. But anyways, why don't you tell everybody who you are? You forgot to mention uh, that at the beginning. I am uh, Carhelion. I'm the head server owner. I manage all the files. I administrate the server. And... I help out with building and stuff. Alright, come to me. Yeah, I just fell off of here. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, we're working currently on a way that... Um, when you fall down from here, it'll teleport you back to the middle spot back here. Is that even possible? Right now, we don't have a way to do that. I mean, maybe with coding, but is is that really possible? Has anybody ever made something like that? Um, there is a permissions node in World Guard that allows teleportation once you enter a zone. We're trying to figure out what it is. It is not added to like any command list or anything. Donator three plus. Oh, I see you have donator things. Mm-hmm. Do you get any special perks whenever you uh, donate? Um, we really haven't figured out the donator perks for this uh, for this um, particular version of the server. These are the older ones and the ones we're using right now. You get the teleport uh, teleport acceptance, like teleport request, teleport acceptance commands. Um, you get your home commands. You get Depending on how much you donate, you get MCMO levels ranging from 25 to 100. Um, for every single dollar, you get 250 coin. Um, for the higher levels, donator 2 through 4, you get uh, varying sizes of a trade shop plots that you can build your bigger shop on. Um... For donator three and four, you can get um, either fortune five pickaxe or a sword with um, full fire and full sharpness on it. Is is this diamond block supposed to be here? Because my OCD is kicking in. Oh, 
No, it isn't. <laughs> Thank you for catching that. You're welcome. Uh, wow. Yeah, Whoa, what, we, this is an arena? A little coliseum. Yeah. Um, what we did with this world was we didn't fully set it up yet, but on the old server, we schematic like all of our builds. So we just posted all the builds in on this map so far. And we're going to like work on a way to make a city in here with all of our cool stuff. Sweet, man. Oh, there's a creeper in here. And he disappeared. Oh, there's there's some blocks missing out of your coliseum. I don't think this world is ward guarded. One second. TP down there. Yeah, this world is not ward guarded. Hmm. Those slimes. This will be the world that will have like mob arena, um, mob arena, PvP arena is our donator halls. Um, Spleef Arena eventually. Um, we also are building a massive room to advertise our server hoster, which is fragcorner.com. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for this world. Alright, here, I'll go back to the, uh, teleporter, see what other things I can investigate. Hmm. So, uh, how many uh, mods or admins do you have on this server? To uh, Currently, you know? we have five moderators. We demoted all of our admins um, to moderators except for our head admin. Um, we had some problems in the past with like people spawning stuff, and we're trying to remove that. Since our moderators cannot, they cannot, um, they cannot permanently ban people. They cannot spawn items, they cannot world edit, they can't factions bypass to remove cheating from administrators. Where is the fucking teleporter? Oh, just do uh, spawn. I forgot to link the portal on this world back. Alright. So is there anything uh, that you plan on implementing um, besides what you're talking about with that little uh, teleporter that'll teleport you back up into that one area if you fall off? We're working on our uh, configuration file for SG Titles, which is a plugin that allows titles for certain things throughout the world. Uh, when you complete them, they will give you a title instantly. Like if you get on a 100 kill streak, you would get a title and maybe some money. Something like that. Oh, nice. Um, we're also working on upgrading our shops a little bit. Currently, we do not have, since we just started, we currently do not have a lot of people with shops. But we're, we're, we're improving and working on new ways for people to get uh, shops. Right now, shops cost 250 um, coin or their access, uh, their free to access to our old donators. I like how you have it all organized and shit in there like that. Yeah, we uh, we built this uh, place last night. Since we just la uh, we just launched this about seven o'clock last night. What the, that world? Yeah, we had the main server, well, the main world up since about. Saturday night, I believe. Now, uh, you said this is a faction server, right? Mm-hmm. Now, do you have any, like, major factions on here already? Um, not that I know of. I haven't really been paying attention to that. I know that the one dude talking in chat, zombies, his factions have always dominated pretty much, um... I know Hobo 411's factions have always done really good, but we haven't really had anybody come out on top so far. The raiding really hasn't started since people are still gathering resources, getting people together, stuff like that. Basically getting shit organized. Yeah. Hmm. Is there anything else you get? What the hell? Hyperman got one interesting skin. Hmm. The <laughs> king. But uh, is there anything else you can uh, inform us about the server? 
Uh, I'm gonna take a look. Um, this is something that a lot of people don't know about. I've had to po uh, post about this in the forum thread. We have a plugin that allows Ender Pearls to uh, charge up XP. So I'll give you an Ender Pearl here. Charge up XP. Um. Ah! I'm teleporting. Okay. To store experience in this portal, please unstack them. All right. So don't stack it. So take one off. Oh, I got a TP to you. All right. So I took one off, and I'm clicking it, and nothing's happening. One second. I got to give you some XP real quick. Okay. So left click the one stack, and it should store ten levels of XP in there. Level? Yeah. That allows you to. Uh, the cool thing about it is the individual Ender Pearl is charged, so you can take 16 Ender Pearls, put them in the, uh, in, put them in a chest as separate entities, and pull them all out and get like 25 levels back after you die, or if you want it at a later time. Looks like Renee's trying to fuck with me. <laughs> Come here, bitch. Uh, no PvP area. That's right. Fuck off. Anyways, um, I like that actually. That's pretty useful, especially if you're uh, not in the mood for enchanting at the time. Definitely, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, you can stack them too. So yeah, you could just uh, use all your Ender pearls, then stack them up, put them in a chest, and then uh, be on your way. And then whenever you need to enchant something, then uh, bada boom. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is a plugin that I forgot to mention. We also have a PvP leaderboard. Oh. Um, if you use slash kill s, one word, it'll show how many kills you have. And the same thing for death, you just type slash death. At, Wait, uh, I don't have s. permission to slash kills. One second. Kill s? I might have to give you the permission over real quick. Uh, no, you don't have to. You don't want to. Is that something for, like, mods and stuff to check? No, actually, it, w it was meant originally for uh, everybody to have. I thought I put it into the basic permissions uh, group, but I guess not. Well, that's just something for you to, uh, I guess, fix. Yep. So it's always good when people bring us bugs and we can fix them. Yep. Um, also, another plugin. We have Death TP Plus, which is what anybody remembers is like heroic death. That uh, was discontinued when Bucket put in the kill thing with the server. So we have customized kill messages. We have kill streaks <laughs> and stuff like that. So like, so like, I can customize my death message to say like my final words were "fuck you" or something. <laughs> that is actually one of them for <laughs> uh, for dying by a creeper. Oh. That is actually one of them. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I might actually come on this server a bit more. I might bring some of my friends along. The more the merrier. Mm hmm. Fuck off, Renee. <laughs> um, we also have Orbifusicator. I don't even know how to say it. Uh, anti X ray that has minimal lag on the server. Um, I ain't no griefers we, or hackers. That's good. Yep. We have no cheat, which my mods like looking at that every single time that someone sends out a message. Um, chest shop, which is for the, um, trade district where you, you place down a chest and then you put a sign on top of it and you put your name, if you're buying or selling and white item and what amount. And if you're selling something, if you put those items in the chest, you can start selling them out to players. And if you buy that item, it puts it in the chest mm. and it instantly takes money in or out of your account. Also, if you type slash lottery, we have a lottery plugin. It takes a draw every two hours. And for all the people that um, buy a ticket, the pot goes up by five gold ingots. Oh, that's another thing I forgot to mention. <laughs> I saw it spawn. Um, you could sell gold ingots. Yeah. The official currency of the server is gold ingots. That is the only thing that you can sell to, sell to the actual server. Everything else is all tra uh, player shops.
Well, I guess that's a good reason to have on anti-x-ray. Yeah, definitely. You do not have one gold ingot. So are there any other cool little plugins that you have on? Oh, what? Ow, oh, I'm starting. Just looking through the plugins list right now. Multiverse, as you saw before, the that allows us to use the portals. Mm -hmm. Um, basically from there, just admin plugins. We use World Edit, Essentials, basic adminning plugins. World Border. Oh, that's another thing. World Border. Um, for our main world, we have a 3K border radius. So from spawn, um. It's 3K each way, and if you go to one of the edges, it's 6K across. Um, the Nexus world, you really don't get off of that little building flying up in the air, so it's only 150. The trade world's also limited to that little box. Um, the event world currently does not have a border, but once we do, it'll probably be bordered to the city that we have. That's about it. Nice, oh, sweet. Goal sucks monkey balls. <laughs> People on here like to trash talk a lot. Yeah, it seems like Renee really likes trash talking. <laughs> that bitch. So uh, thank you for showing me this really cool server. Renee, fuck off. <laughs> thank you for showing me this really cool server. Um, this is nice. Affliction Gaming, right? Yeah, that that's the name of our... Uh, server network. We used to have an RP server, Hunger Games server, and all that. Hunger Games server? The individual server. server. Yeah, like Hunger Games the movie. You like, fucking uh, copier. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of people on that server. It was really fun. But they were like, oh, the bitch got a bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for showing me this really cool server. I'll definitely be back on. No and uh, I'll be sure to bring some of my friends with you, or with us, or with me, whatever. Fuck. Um, what the hell? Oh, prospector. Wait, what is a prospector? So, oh, gold ingots. Never mind. Forget that. Um, till next time, guys. I'm Vice, and thank you for watching. And if you have any servers that you'd like a little promotion, feel free to contact me on my Skype. It's on my fucking YouTube page, as always. And uh, take it easy, guys. And uh, thank you. Forgot your name. Cryhelion. Cryhelion. That's kind of like a super villain name. Yes. <laughs> Take it easy, guys.